Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, I thought we would take a little trip into practical circuit design. So, what do we need our circuit to do? Well, let's say that we have a widget that needs an operating voltage of between 3 and 6 volts. And if the voltage is outside that range, we need the widget to shut off to protect it. So let's design a circuit to do just that. What we're going to need is what's called a window comparator. Now, I know that there are window comparator ICs available, but we're going to do this using op amps because this is the way you teach this so that you can understand the way the circuit itself works. Okay. So let's start with our two rails. We'll say 9 volt and we'll call our ground ground. All right. So the first thing we need are two op amps. Now I did a video, I don't know, maybe a month ago on comparators. And yes, I know there are standard comparators. We don't need to use off hands, but you know what? I don't have all that stuff at home. So we're just using what I have here. So here are our two op amps. That one is going up to nine volts and we'll call that one going up to nine volts as well. And they also both are going to ground. So that is the power setting for our op amps. And we're going to create a window comparator here. So what we need to do to do that is we need to have a high VREF on this one and a low VREF on that one. And the way we're going to do that is really simple. We're going to do it with a voltage divider because honestly that's just the simplest way to do this so if we use three resistors as a voltage divider we start at nine volts at this point we will be at two-thirds and at this point we will be at one-third so this will be our high VREF and that's going to be at about 6 volts. This will be our low VREF. And that is going to be at about 3 volts. Here is our input. And we will run it in parallel to the non-inverting input on the top op amp and the inverting input onto the bottom op amp. Run them in parallel. Now we're going to come out of our op amps, our output, and just for ease of use, we're going to have a high voltage LED warning and a low voltage LED warning. So the way this is going to work, we're going to feed our signal into the input. And as long as it is between 6 volts and 3 volts, the op amps will remain off. If it goes above, the high voltage warning LED will come on. If it goes below, the low voltage LED warning will come on. And that gives us nice information, but we really want it to do something. So we're going to have it activate a transistor. In this case, an NPN transistor. Boy, that's a horrible, horrible drawing of a transistor. <laughs> uh, the reason I'm putting in these extra diodes here 
is just so we don't end up back feeding those op amps. I know the LEDs are diodes as well. But this is just good practice. And our transistor, in this case, just for demonstration purposes, will activate another LED. But we could easily have it activate a relay to cut the power to what we're doing. Um, yeah, there's no, I mean, you should really have a base resistor here. But for our purposes, I'm just going to limit the current through the power supply that we're putting into the circuit. Okay. So again, we'll go over this real quick. We have a nine volt rail, zero volt rail. Our, um, these R1, R2, R3 should all be equal. So R1 equals R2 equals R3. That will give us two thirds and one third power, giving us our high VREF, our low VREF. Signal comes in as long as it's in between those points. Op amps remain off. If it comes outside, the op amps turn on, activating the transistor, which will activate our voltage cutoff. Simple enough? Let's look at it practically. All right, here's the circuit on the breadboard. Just using this little supply to put nine volts in. All right, starting over here, let me turn this up so you guys can see it. We have our voltage divider. I'm using 270 ohm resistors. We have our high voltage warning LED, our low voltage warning LED. Uh, this is an IC. This is a TL072, which is a dual op amp I'm using. Then we have our two protection diodes, our transistor, and this is our master warn, we'll call it. Okay. Now, I have another power supply. There's the ground for it, hooked up here to our input. And right now, everything is in balance. I'm applying four volts to the circuit. Now, if I go low, low voltage warning comes on, master alarm, master caution, whatever you want to call it, comes on. I'm putting in 1.9 volts now. As soon as we go above three volts, everything is back in balance. And then if we go above six volts, our high warning LED comes on. And again, our master warn comes on. Pretty simple. Like I said, you could substitute um, a relay in here, but I just needed, I need something that is, you know, easily viewable. So there is a voltage protection circuit using uh, window comparators and an op amp, or actually two op amps in this case. I hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. And a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.